this is a video on enchanting this is a scratch mode that is meant to be connected to extend hardware like for lego next and in case you have no clue how to run this first you have to install install the next phantom driver for the scratch and then the i mean for the lego next and then install enchanting and then once you install it just go and open enchanting so this is how its directory it is it's, it's not simple to install this thing because it has many backend and frontend things for running this robotics kind of stuffs and so so once you connect to your device as well after you open enchanting but of course i don't have a device so i cannot demonstrate that so you just have to go to the flash firmware click it there in case you get some warning kind of like this just do it with your own precaution because if your lego next is running in a more newer firmware or something you, ha you have to re reformat your next of course it's you can say it's at your own risk if there's any problem so let me just give new because i haven't connected any device and that's the reason why it's not working as well like clicking clicking on the flag and all but anyway i'm just demonstrating this thing so let's just get back into the exploring kind of way that you usually do so the first thing we can see is the files that has come some kind of change like flashing the firmware so let's check the next thing which is exporting the code you can export the code as .java file and i certainly don't know how it works but i think so it's for robotics things these codes that you export and of course you can run it as a java fleet as well i think so and you can use bluetooth as well to connect to the device i think that's what it's me meant because i never tried hardware and all that much so this is get into edit category and then you can see the undo thing and undelete is there and zebra coloring if you need to know what is zebra coloring let's just demonstrate this by putting this one of the reporto into another reporto you can see that this is in lighter color than the previous one it's more like a zebra pattern in case you keep on putting it inside so that you could better see the visuals and all and it's much more easier but in case you off the zebra coloring then you can see that all the things are like normal scratch but let me just enable it again and then this is for transparent dragging translucent dragging as you can see it's translucent here if you disable it of course it's going to be normal kind of dragging but let me just make it translucent and then there's a scope contrast which i don't know what is it meaning actually of course you can read and research on it more if you need some information and then you can also unload unused blocks from the lego next if you need and you can clear all the variables of course you can let's just get the get into the help and you can see it's enchanting is not just directly a mode of scratch itself but you can see it's related to gob scratch and it also uses lego's firmware and also of course it's related to lego mindstorm next i'm just saying about this these all things you can just read it later and yeah about biob as well you can read but of course this has not everything of the biob of course there there should be many remote things like to remove the full screen and also i cannot run this project without connecting to a device that is the issue here but yeah it's okay you know this is for uploading the code to robot this is for running the code on robot this is to stop everything so let us get to the block palette now as we have checked into the other features and of course there are many removals on the total number of blocks because some things tend to be useless when related to robots and also some has some bugs so the first block you can see is wait until enter button is pressed i think this when the sprite is clicked it's been removed because maybe it has some kind of bug because it is a live code which is running inside the bot rather than being like waiting for the response of the computer i think that could be the reason 
no, of course I cannot I think so I cannot demonstrate this no you cannot click on the block to run it that's what is removed you have to connect it to a device I think so if, it, if that need to work but anyway this would wait until a particular button is pressed of course you can use it for something else as well and then there are all these normal blocks there and let's just scroll down you can see these things are from the snap for building your own blocks and you can also stop a particular block or run a particular block I don't know how these things work actually properly maybe I need a little more experience in snap or biob of course I've tried biob you can debug some stuffs report debug things and all but let's just get to the motion blocks now as you can see there's no change here except this has been broken into an drop down menu and let's get to driving I don't know what's meant by driving but of course you can just differential you can just first mention the wheel diameter or something certainly I, I'm not explaining it perfectly but yeah I'm just trying my maximum it's just like wheel diameter I don't understand just for the wheel diameter track width I think just for checking the width of these things so that it could do it, the, do it in the perfect precision or something and then you can just put the left motor there I don't know how it works certainly but let me just give ok there you can see driving is never 100% accurate I think you, you have to mention the wheel diameter and all this information about these things and then you start getting these blocks over here but when you modify this kind of things to centimeter or something the things remain, remain the same almost but as a small change of course and I didn't understand it certainly that much well but yeah it's kind of fine you can see we can drive straight or backwards or you can drive straight or backwards in the centimeters of course not accurate or meters or feet or how much ever you can drive straight or back and steering I don't understand I, I should see the hardware if I need to know some something is more before starting this video I never know about the hardware maybe after it I will just learn a little bit about it more we can turn the device as well or in the, any angle you want point in a particular direction I mean this is not for the sprite it's for the real device over there and you can also arc towards a particular radius by giving an angle and in centimeter as well or only the arc towards a radius without the angle can set the driving speed acceleration and turning speed actually how to set acceleration I have no idea but yeah it will do its maximum potential or something of course you can report some stuffs but it's not coming yet because I don't have any device you can go to a particular X centimeter I don't I, actually this one I don't know how it works go to a particular X and Y of room or something I don't know if what it meant maybe this meant in a slanting it will just become slanting and it will go to that place I think that's how it works and you can go at a particular angle as well to that place if it's possible you can check if it's moving the X position in centimeter Y position I don't know how X position and Y position work I think from home I think it counts slowly using something like odometer auto or something I don't know what they, what they call that odometer I think so odometers and speedometers yeah and that's how you get this block things and then let's go to the looks of course you can see most of the things are removed and you can of course print hello I think if it has touch screen or I mean if it has some kind of a display it will show the hello there the printing and you can of course do some basic functions because some things are removed unnecessary things in sensing you can see you can check for a particular button is pressed but only enter left and right is allowed because of course just to simplify things I think it's, I think these buttons are there in the device itself. That's why only these things are there. You can check how much percentage of memory is free, battery voltage, some remote sensor value. I don't know what this, whatever sensor value is saying. I think you have configure sensor if you need more things. Let's just configure it. You can just use the next light sensor, or of course next color sensor technical and all these things I don't know that much about hardware and all so I can't explain everything but of course you can just see all the drop downs 
and it's okay completely okay if you want to leave this video but just make sure you can subscribe or something so that it could be motivational to do things but it only has four portal ports so i don't know so this thing is getting kind of clogged so i can explain it very well just check some light sensors and several other things i think most of the blocks are related to sensors of light other things are not that much well shooted or maybe i'll just take other things here maybe maybe like this and this and i'll just remove these things and let me see if there's any block change happening due to removing the sensors of course there are some changes like distance from the ultrasound sensors sorry for the background noise but you can't just record my video very well nowadays then anyway i'm just trying my maximum to reduce this sound effects happening anyways let's just go to the motors and check that motors are okay kind of working you can just have two motors are available for now so anyway direct current or using an encoder you get this kind of blocks over here i'm not going to explain this very well because you can of course try it if you have enough experience or something this kind of stuffs i'm just showing off this mod anyway yeah, this is the first time i've seen like this i think i didn't test this out that much and you can also map things up for a position i think so i don't know i don't understand ma that things that much about maps i think maps are about locations and several dictionaries or something wait i think i forgot to scroll things down in some places ah yeah here so here there are like the script with the input you can do things means like a script variable and also i think this one is for you can also put an input for this block it's a kind of reporter kind of block rather than i think this thing has some kind of bugs or something Wait, it doesn't have any bug. It's just a uh, okay something. And then these are the snaps. Snap kind of this works in the way of how Biob works. Like in case you need to make a variable, that's so why I'm just explaining about Biob now, right now. But I don't know if I'll make any video on Biob in future because the video is getting so long. I tried it last time. Anyways, let's just do something. So you can just set things like that only, and you can also make a script variables, so temporary variables only for the script. It means it means like, if the script is working over here, means like, I'm just putting a basic script here, but it's not gonna work for robots and all. It's just gonna work here. This like a some temporary variable here. But if you again made this, if you duplicated this, and in case you deleted this and put it here. It's not gonna work because it cannot access any variable from this script. This script can only use this thing. This script cannot get this thing. I don't know if you can, if I can test in Biob, I'll show you. And maybe I'll leave a Biob video as well there. And you got all those other kind of operators and all. So let's check the how to make a list as well. And this is how we make a list. You have to put a it's more like a way of how programming languages work for making lists. Okay, I'll just put that as truck because that's the way how I speak. Okay, that doesn't work. I just forgot about that. Is you cannot play anything. But that's how you make things, and you can make a block, of course. That's how snap. Uh, that's how Biob works. Mainly for building your own blocks. That's what Biob means. As this is taking code from Biob as well, that's why this thing is possible. And this could be a reporter block or whatever you want. You can see different kind of things like objects and all these things. But anyway, I'm not making this. Maybe I'll see it in the Biob version of it. And yeah, I think that's all other things about this enchant 